Have you ever wondered why everyone is a different height? Look at the Simpsons family, for example. We can explain this through genes. And no, not this type of genes. No! But this type of genes. So let's talk about it. Genes carry information that determine your traits. These are things like your eye colour, your hair colour and how tall you are. Think of them like a little car that carries all the parts of you that make you who you are. Now that we know a little bit more about what genes are, let's talk about someone that spent their whole life studying genes and how they are all different. This is a well-renowned scientist by the name of Barbara McClintock. Barbara was born on the 16th of June 1902 and passed away aged 90 on the 2nd of September 1992. Barbara was actually born with the name Eleanor, but later in her life her parents decided that she didn't suit the name and changed it to Barbara. Now let's get into the science. Does anyone know what it was that Barbara did to make her so famous? Barbara began her career as a leader in the research into maize chitogenetics. Sounds scary, doesn't it? But what is maize chitogenetics? Maize actually means corn. Yep, like the corn you eat at home. And chitogenetics is the study of genes and chromosomes, just like we talked about before. So together, do you know what this means? Maize chitogenetics is the study of corn's genes and chromosomes. Barbara crossbred the corn that she worked with to figure out how the DNA worked. This led to her discovery of the jumping gene. The jumping gene shows that genes are not fixed. They can move around to different chromosomes. This means that all different sorts of mutations can be formed because of that gene. We can see this in the picture, how she has one corn with different colours on it. This is because of the jumping gene. Let's recap for a second now. Does anyone remember what maize chitogenetics actually was? Yes, that's right. The study of genes and chromosomes of corn. What did Barbara show us that happens to corn when it encounters the jumping gene? Yes, that's correct too. The colour of the corn kernels change. This is due to the gene mutation.